Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to keep your chart size constant if you change the size of your columns or the change the size of your rows. And let's kind of go through what I mean. Now I have a chart here and let's say that we have increased the size of our rows. We decide to put other text here. Let me put to an alt enter, type in just test, control enter to stay in that cell. And let's say I just double click that to bring it down. As you see the rows, the, the row sizes have increased and what it did is it also increased the size of the chart. Um, let's say that also I decide to add some extra columns. Let me do a control shift plus sign. It will increase, it will add columns there and you'll notice that now as the columns have increased it moved everything over to the right. The cell, uh, excuse me, the chart has also moved over to the right. Let me go ahead and control Z to get this all back into the previous state. Let's say we didn't want that to happen. We want it, to, well, no matter how we change the size of the rows or columns or increase the columns, we want the size of our chart to stay the same. So how do we do that? Well, that can be easily done. What we want to do is we click on the chart and we want to change the chart properties we'll go and right click and go to format chart area and this is going to bring up the format chart area uh, window we want to go into properties and actually and the object positioning properties that's what we want to change we want to select this radio button this first radio button it will it will let you move it so in the second example where i showed we added some columns it will let you move it but it won't but if you increase the column size it won't increase the size of the chart. This third button, the selection, means that no matter if we increase the row sizes or added extra columns or added extra rows or increase the column size, it will not adjust the size of the chart. So if I select that, go ahead and click close and let me see, it. let me show you if I added some extra columns, control shift plus plus you can see that the columns are now behind the chart and the chart hasn't shifted over to the right. Let me do, go ahead and control Z. And if we added extra, we've made the row sizes uh, increase. I'm just gonna go ahead and just increase the row size here. Just select it and now we have that double headed arrow. I'm gonna increase that row size. You see now the chart has stayed the same. Let me control Z. So there you go. This is an example of how you can keep your chart dimensions constant if you ch decide to change your column sizes or your increase your columns or the same with your rows. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.